Let us remember that we will certainly see him again and enjoy his friendship. And on that day when Nathan and his companions closed their eyes to this life, they opened them again to see Christ and a great number of family and friends welcoming them with open arms. And you can be certain that Jared was there to welcome his brother home and that all those who've gone before us are enjoying an eternal season where there is no suffering or pain or war. Father, bring your peace to all who are afflicted by war, terrorism, and violence. Give them an end to the war and bring true peace. Give them a victory that ends the war and afterwards give them meaning. We were young, they say. We have died. Remember us. We remain the land of the free because of the brave. Nathan, will we remember? We will not forget. We were all very proud of you and Jason for making that decision that you did. It takes a lot of courage to join the fight after losing a brother and such a close friend. But today, I wish I had one more day or one more moment, even one last conversation with you. But I know someday you will be there waiting for me at the gates of heaven. There has been a flag that's been flown over the state capitol in Nathan's honor. We salute Nathan's devotion to his soldiers. We honor his courage and we remember his extraordinary example of selfless service. And it is now my honor to present Nathan's Bronze Star Medal to his family.